Now, we've just completed day 10 of the Sochi Winter Games, and we're counting the days until we can see Kim Yona defend her title in the women's figure skating event. And while she spent most of her time with her rehearsal, the drawings were out for the short program. Well, the 17 year old Koreans were drawn early with Park So Yeon going second in Group 1 and Kim Hye Jin going fifth in Group 2. The figure queen Kim Yona was drawn in the middle as she set to go fifth in Group 3. Now, this puts pressure on her rivals Yulia Nimnishkaya and Mao Asana, who's set to go first in Group 5 and very last, respectively. Meanwhile, Kim Yeon-ah's short program is scheduled to take place on Wednesday, 9.24 p.m. Sochi time or Thursday, 2.24 a.m. Seoul time. While the nation had high expectations for the South Korean bobsleigh team, they fell short in the two-man bobsleigh event. With South Korea's Won Yoon Jung and Seo Young Woo's combined time after four races at 3 minutes, 49.27 uh, seconds, check that. It was good for 18th overall as Russia claims the gold medal in the event as Alexei Voivoda and Alexander Zubkov finished with a combined time of 3 minutes, 45.39 seconds. Meanwhile, Switzerland and the U.S. finished second and third, respectively. Respectively. And moving on, after finding out they were mathematically eliminated from the Olympics, the South Korean women's curling team went on to face Canada and lost 9 to 4. But for them, the future still looks bright. Despite it being their first ever Olympics, the South Korean women's curling team did manage to beat Japan, Russia, and the United States. And while they won't be advancing to the semifinals, the popularity of the sport here in the nation is as high as ever, as many believe that they'll come back four years later with a much better result in Pyeongchang. Now, things didn't turn out the way many expected for Team Korea during the Sochi Winter Games, but they still have a chance at adding a few more medals. And speaking of which, a couple of chances on day 11 of the Sochi Winter Games. Now, first off, while Lee Sang Hwa lived up to her expectation and claimed the 500 meter women's speed skating gold, things didn't turn out the way everyone expected for the men's side, as Mo Tebum and Lee Sung Hoon failed to win any medals. But Lee Sung Hoon has a shot at a medal during the men's 10,000 meter event on Tuesday. Meanwhile, the South Korean women's short track team will look to add a gold medal as they're the favorites going into the 3,000-meter relay final set to take place later on the day as well. And now finishing things off, let's take a look at the current medal count after 10 days of competition in Sochi. Of course, taking a look here, we see that Germany is still on top with eight gold medals this time, but other nations are catching up, including Russia, who jumped up to second with five gold medals, with the Netherlands in third and the United States moving up to fourth. Korea is still looking to add more medals as they sit in 17th place with one gold, one silver, and one bronze. And that's going to wrap it up for me. This has been SJ. Have a great rest of the day and see you guys again for your sports needs.